WCT's Mara McJelton talked to some fire crews today to get more information on how to safety, safely use those propane tanks. Mara, what did they have to say to you? Yeah, John, well, more than 10,000 home fires start every year from flames on a grill, and this is the time of year when firefighters start to see those numbers spike. Memorial Day weekend is when many families fire up the propane grill for the first time of the summer season. Wendy Janini King with the Wilmington Fire Department offered a few pieces of advice to keep safety first. Keep your grill out from under eaves and overhangs and don't let those um, flames flare up too big. Keep it in control, watch your drinking, pay attention to what you're doing and keep the kids and the pets away from an outside grill. If the forecasted bad weather keeps you inside, Wendy says do not put your grill in your garage or any enclosed space. Not only will you and your pets be breathing harmful chem chemicals and um, you know, things coming off that grill, but it's a fire hazard too. Most important to make sure you hook up the propane tank to your grill properly to avoid a leak and potential hazard. Just make sure that you're looking over them to make sure there's not anything loose or you know, super rusty. And um, as you're hooking up the lines of the propane tank to the grill, you can use a simple solution of just some dish soap and some water and squirt it on that line and see if anything bubbles. Just a little line leak test is what I'd recommend. If your tank is older, it's best to head to the store and replace it just to be on the safe side. And anytime you're getting a new propane tank from the store, don't leave it filled in a hot car for any period of time because the tanks are pressurized. Some simple steps to keep you and your family safe this grilling season. Please remember that first responders come to you um, when you're in danger, um, but it reduces the risk all the way around. If you behave safely, then they don't have to travel you know, quickly through the streets and the, the tourists and the, the visitors and the, the chaos of the holiday weekend as well. Now, first responders say you should always have a fire extinguisher nearby in case something goes wrong. Mar McJilton, WBCT News.